Hello and welcome to Invisible Gamer Plays. I'm Tristan. And I'm Dan. We're playing Dying Light. Uh, last episode, we did some tutorial stuff. We're getting very close to getting out of the tutorial stuff, but we're actually going to have to leave the building so we can get some answers in from a doctor, which will slow the infection can... because our character was bitten by a zombie. Yeah. So we're infected, so... but we, but we got to talk to the quartermaster to get some stuff. Oh, you're um, the new scout. But yeah, we're actually oh, leaving me about you. the tower, yeah, which is me. this building Name's that Crane. this faction is located in. I'm not gonna I feel bother like learning your name like... till you survive a few days. Somewhere else in this game, the guy that this is for you. Yeah, they do kind of. By the way, like word around yeah, well, it's funny you say that because later in the game there is a character that looks almost exactly like that. I think they kind of reuse I mean, some of the, the people like, here don't assets, but yeah, don't blame them. The character models and stuff like that. I don't know if there's anybody that looks exactly like this since he's an actual character. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. Although he doesn't even have a name, he's just a quartermaster. He just manages the items. Yeah. But I think with like name characters and stuff they don't reuse but like just characters you come across and you find survivors that you can save from zombies in the city. They definitely reuse. They, well I don't know what they look like that but they usually have like stuff on their face. Yeah. But they definitely reuse some. Which just makes sense. I mean a lot of games do that. Especially big open world complex games. So. I don't really care. You just have to suspend some disbelief. I mean. Yeah. If you. Like we talked about last game realism. Well, last episode realism. Keep your yeah. If you're like. Night. If you're like weirdly <laughs> uptight about that, like it has to be like as real as it can be. Then you're having. You, I don't know why you would be playing a video game. You know. Like, then just do real life. Yeah. <laughs> um, or watch a movie or something. But yeah, um, and even movies don't do that. So. So we got some we weapons. True. 24, 24, 19. So we have it in good order. This is how I do it. I manage it. I keep my so, best weapon at the top, and you know, keep these. So, a pipe is better than a water pipe. Well, they're the same. And what about the table leg? It's 19, so it's not as good. So, huh? And we have some duct tape and metal parts and nails and lockpick and med kit and stuff. We have blueprints. We can't make a med kit. Skills. We have a leveled up cool. map quest. It's one map. Okay. Good. What's that? We could get a gravity gun. I mean, if this is half life, outside, what yeah. is why? Why even? <laughs> Why even say that? What's the point? Okay, new guy. Be careful out there. We've lost too many already. Alright, we're going out. We've lost too many, too many already, man. You can tell that they're trying to do like a fallout kind of thing here of like, look, you're outside and it's like super bright. You know when you first come yeah. out of the vault? Okay, so... We're going to go over there. He's not that far away. I know exactly where I'm going. So a big thing with this game is you like the zombies. See, they're all down there. Um, you know, you you kind of want to stay close to buildings or on top of buildings. Yeah, because you know? then they can get up. Um, they can't really climb, so. Oh snap! It's all right. If I get down there, they're pretty slow. But, oh, oh, dude, I'd be so freaked out if yep. I was in this situation. I'm sure anybody would because it's terrifying. Yep. Enter the safe zone. Yeah, there's these little safe zones that you come in and then your weapon gets put away and stuff. Like that. The thing is, you don't want to fight the zombies in this game. You know, it's just better to run away unless you really yeah. have to, because Doctor, you your weapons deteriorate. There's there? too many of them. Like, it, it, I like the way that this game enforces. Because uh, so Dead Island was a lot about just vaccine? killing what? zombies over. Yeah, you know? no. this is a little more like, like strategizing right. a way around them. So yeah, which is I, I like that because you do get items. You get like firecrackers, which distract them because it makes the noise and they go over there. I do like how this game kind of plays with that. Yeah. Um, so this doctor's so given us. There's no cure. Um, some it's stuff. And he's working He's working on a cure, There's and he no thinks he's close right to a cure. Now. I don't remember but that. See, so. I've been running tests on both uh, but he's, he, we got some antis in, so we're, we're okay with our symptoms for now. A cure is possible. Hey, Definitely <laughs> possible. <laughs> oh, shit. You really think you can figure it out? With he's Dr. Camden's help, up. yes. Yeah, Uncle Ben over so. here's got a. Where did I put that injector? He does look like he Uncle, does look like Uncle, Ben's, Uncle Ben's rice. Yeah, like I'm not like that's literally he no, just literally yeah, looks good like. No, insight there. That actually is kind of funny. We've been collaborating via radio. Yeah, <laughs> side by side comparison. Made more yeah, if the connection were better. On the screen now. Also, if yeah. my earlier Unless they're not. In which case, fruit. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. So he, I don't care. Let's skip this. <laughs> yeah. You're not here for plot. Um, we're here for Uncle Ben. Brahim, right? Zara, check me out. We're gonna, me he's actually shot. supposed to be giving us some uh, rice, <laughs> and uh, we're gonna throw it at the zombies, and they're gonna eat it. 
I think they're gonna explode. So, so, it will take care. Trial. That's his cure. The rice for zombies. Explosive rice, sure. Explosive <laughs> rice. All right, so we gotta go talk to Spike. He gives us a job. I think we finally finished the quest. Yeah, so we got a survivor skill. So we finished that first quest. Our survivor rank went up. So we have survival starter kit. We just gotta start that. So we know how to craft basic things with this. So that's so what we just make. Uh, we didn't make the, anything. We just we just put a skill point into oh, so survival. So make stuff now. Yeah. So now we just got a bunch to make lock picks, firecrackers, Molotov cocktails, throwing stars. Ooh, the only the thing we can stars. make right now is that sounds pretty sweet. Yeah, we can't make them right now. But the only thing we can make is our lock picks. But yeah. they use up metal parts, which is what you use to repair your weapons. Oh, so you gotta like be resourceful with it. Yeah, and I only make lock picks if I run out, which I have not run out yet. You find so, them around, so you basically yeah. just save that until you yeah spike. Need him. I'm Crane. So he's gonna give us our Just first job here. More unskilled labor. Spike. All right. He, shut up and pay attention. Spike. There are two mm. types of airdrops. Uh, one is food, first aid supplies, survival gear, and such. I mean, what the other kind is filled with antisense. Might not be as. It's, it's, it's almost certainly not a real name. Feed that lets us know well, when I don't know. Maybe his hair. Look, the trouble it is, is kind of spiky. His hair is kind of spiky. Getting raided by Rise's thugs, and without antisense, we're basically screwed. Rise and his boys yeah. only operate during the day because going out after dark is a yeah, dangerous so way I, to get at killed. dark there's like these the I don't know what they I think they're called coming down right virals or, like or means to go out. yeah they're like this super aggressive the and they like the they're like really Looking much stronger, much stronger. and I think the rest well as I said uh, yeah and the rest of the zombies are like the regular zombies I think are still like a little bit faster and stronger at night so like everything's just worse at night but there's certain quests that you can only do at night so you have to like kind of do it oh man that's alright what are these traps and how do I arm them yeah because if it was up to you the player you probably but the thing is there was also high risk high reward at night you get more experience points at night yeah to level up your survival and agility and all that stuff so before you head out there grab some firecrackers grab some firecrackers they make a fine distraction if you get trouble excuse me sir excuse me I don't think he's I don't think he's gonna move it's kind of like how wow well, that, that kind of gave me a flashback to like Final Fantasy or like any of those any of those old RPGs you know where they like walk in front of your Path and you like can't get through because it's like there's just pixels. Oh you know, my gosh, like, it's so annoying. Like, it's like, like in Pokemon, even that happens all the time. Yeah, like let's and you have to like bump the, into them and then that like tells them to move or something. Battle, let's battle. But yeah, so now we gotta prepare a trap. So Brecken, who's the leader of the faction that's in the tower, um, needs traps prepared because they're gonna go do a thing at night. They're gonna actually do a night mission because the other faction operates during the day, so they hope they can get a leg up by doing it at night. Huh. So I gotta... You know, you know I just wondered? Hmm. Like, you know how when you die in games, like, you know, like, uh, obviously restart and stuff? Uh-huh. What if there was, like, an alternate, like, I'm outside, working for Spike. He stayed dead, obviously. Like, what if your your character just got eaten by a zombie? Right there now? are games that do that. What zombie, you, zombie, you did that. Really? Zombie, you, you just keep playing as different survivors. If you like, die, you play as a different survivor, right, and you I'm can go up. find your old survivor's body and loot all your stuff again. But you don't play as the same character. There's, that, there's a lot of zombie cool. games that do that too. Yeah, zombie games definitely do that. That'd be cool to like the story even like interacting with like that. Yeah. They they would have to find well, a new person to do that to have. The even story that'd be kind of they, harder. Well, yeah, yeah, an intense story. Yeah. I don't think they'd be able to do that because what if someone died 50 million times in a row intentionally? <laughs> they couldn't get that many actors. You know, like it to do, like that wouldn't really work. Yeah, it, that would be impossible. The only way that like, works is if it if the character is not really in, you know named or like or speaking right. Yeah, has speaking roles or anything. Looks like she's dead. And looks like she turned into a zombie and then died. Yeah. Um. But yeah, Zombie, you did that. I know, um, I think DayZ does that when you die, you technically play as... And then um, other non-zombie games, like, have you heard of Rogue Legacy? No, I haven't. It's like a roguelike it's like game, a and um, when you die, <laughs> yeah. you're dead, but you play as your heir. You know, huh. your, like, son or your daughter or whatever. That's cool. And It's it, actually really cool. And you can keep going. Um, I'm gonna just go for him. Oh. Um... <laughs> Yeah, kill that dog. That one does not have a That's disgusting. Zombies are disgusting. Mm -hmm. Things in town. They're just... What did you just take from it? Just money. Oh, yeah. Okay, so... Were the money's infected? It's not. 
I'm already infected, it doesn't matter. Wait, if a real zombie apocalypse ever happened, honestly, it's probably not. <laughs> it would, that's, I don't even, like, there's no scientific basis, basis for a zombie infection. Yeah. Because uh, most, I actually heard there is, like, a kind of thing where, like, uh, it's, like, fungus out there. It's really, like, rare. Oh, it's I know like, what you're talking about. It's, like, it infects ants. It, like, yeah. kills ants, and then it, like, kind of turns them into zombies. Yeah, but, I kind mean. Kind of, it's not exactly like that. Ooh. I was just gonna say you that can't, if you get like a you don't really use that like it's a you could throw item. that like you a, get throwing stars I think like that's a, what you use that like for. a metal blade man yeah. yeah there's a skill you can Go get metal man on on the them zombies oh I already ran out of lockpicks <laughs> there's a skill you can get um, that lets you throw your melee weapons that's cool um, so like this pipe I'm having I can throw at someone oh I can make a throwing star too. Oh, I make I make five, I guess. But. Like it makes certain. Yeah, it makes a, a group of them. Yeah. Um, what am I doing? The, oh, to equip your like. Uh, different. Yeah, I'm gonna keep firecrackers on though, because throwing stars you want to save. Yeah. Block picking this is is pretty much identical to like Skyrim or, or Fallout. Yeah. It's like literally the exact same, which is fine because it's a good system. I feel like. The lock picking in Oblivion is like so different. Oh yeah, it is, it's, huh? Yeah, it is. Uh, I it's forgot. kind of frustrating, actually. Yeah, it is. It's um, yeah. Let's see. We just got a new weapon. What did we get? Oh, plain pipe. Let's see. It's thirty-one. Much better. So I'm gonna bump that up to the top. Wait. It's kind of annoying to manage your. It's <laughs> really exciting. <laughs> All right, and then we want to move to that plain pipe. Much better. All right. So next time we'll get in there. We'll help that trapped survivor. And we'll kill them zombies.